Hey guys, and welcome back for another guide. Today we're going to be talking about Fractals of the Mist a bit more, but this time we're going to focus on the mastery points, how to get them, and what you can spend them on. Also, if you're new to Fractals, I just finished a four-part guide on how to get started on those, some of the mechanics, and what to look out for. And if you're new to the mastery system, I have a guide getting started on that as well. Anyway guys, let's go ahead and get started. So before we talk about how to get each one of these mastery points, I want to take a brief minute to talk about what you can get with these points. Hit H to open up your hero panel and go all the way on the left hand side to the bottom and you'll see your masteries. In Central Tyria Masteries, under Fractals, you'll see the four things that you can unlock in this category. First up on the list, we have Follows Advice for one mastery point. With this, you'll gain access to some additional dailies, which is always good, but it'll also unlock a few Ascended Crafting items that you can purchase at the Infuse 5959 vendor in the Mistlock Observatory. Moving down from that, we have Agony Channeler for two mastery points. This will give you some better rewards based on the amount of time you have Agony applied to you. And for those of you who are new to Fractals and Agony, after level 20 Fractals, bosses will start applying Agony to you and you'll need to build up some resistance for that. But with this mastery, it will increase your rewards for having this applied to you. Also, it will unlock an additional Mystic Forge recipe that allows you to further infuse your Ascended Rings, allowing you to put another infusion in each one. I'm not gonna talk about that too much here because I plan to cover that in a future video. Down from that, we have Recursive Resourcing for three mastery points, and this is just basically a buff again to your rewards in Fractals of the Mist. You'll be getting bonus rewards in your daily Chests of the Mists for completing daily achievements, as well as from fractal encryptions you gain from completing fractals. When you unlock those and open them, you should get more rewards there as well. And lastly, we have Mistlock Singularities for 5 points. Put plainly, this unlocks Mistlock Singularities for your account. This means that while you're in a fractal, you will notice Mistlock Singularities that before you couldn't interact with, but now you can. Activating a Mistlock Singularity puts a buff on you called Rigorous Certainty, which gives you plus 5 to agony resistance and the next time you would have been defeated you'll gain 25% of your total health instead. This one comes in real handy the further you move through fractals. You may have also noticed that agony channeler, recursive resourcing, and mistlock singularities all increase fractal potion conversion. That just means that the potions that you can purchase from Dessa's alchemist at the Mistlock Observatory will have a greater effect for each one of these you unlock. Now we can go ahead and get into how to actually unlock these points for your account. There are a total of 16 individual fractals of which there are 14 mastery points. You'll only need 11 of these points to unlock all the fractal masteries but I'm going to go ahead and include all 14 real quick just so you get to pick and choose which ones you unlock and if you need some more mastery points for other central Tyria masteries you can feel free to spend these on whatever you want so first up we have out of cluck in the urban battlegrounds fractal here you're going to need to kill all of the chickens in the city there are a total of 10 you're gonna have to take out and it's probably best if you wait until you've actually completed the fractal to go ahead and try this that way you don't have any extra enemies holding you back when you're trying to look for the little chickens next up we have fancy footwork at the swampland fractal this one's not too bad all you have to do is avoid all of the traps in the beginning of this fractal next up we have flawless fins foil foes in the aquatic ruins, you're going to need to take the dolphin path and avoid being captured by any crate until you make it to the final boss. This mastery will unlock right away, so if you don't want to fight the boss, you don't have to. Next, we have Hop, Skip, and Jump in the Uncategorized Fractal. For this, all you have to do is make it through the whole fractal without falling down any of the platforms that you'll need to scale multiple times to get to the end. If I had any recommendations here, it's just stay ranged and make sure you're out of combat before making jumps. Next up, we have If We Only Had Marshmallows in the Snowblind Fractal. At the beginning of the fractal, you're going to start off by lighting a giant bonfire, and doing this long enough will melt an ice wall that you can then progress to the first boss fight, or sub-boss fight, I guess. The ice elemental you fight requires you to light bonfires around him. Just make sure every bonfire gets lit, and you'll get this mastery point. After that, we have The Floor is Lava, Don't Step in It at the Volcanic Fractal. There are several parts of this fractal where there is lava that you can fall into. 
don't do that and you'll get this mastery point. If I had any advice, it's just that when you're running along the old mine tracks in this fractal, be very aware of where the gaps are and you should be able to get this pretty easily. There are a couple gaps on your way to the final boss and then right before the boss there's another gap that you're going to need to look out for. After that we have take a bow at the cliffside fractal. This whole fractal involves using a hammer to release a giant stone man. At the very end of the fractal you succeed in doing so and he will stop to bow at you. If you backslash bow back at him you'll unlock this nice and easy. After that we have carrier cacophony in the underground facility fractal. About halfway through this fractal you're going to have to fight a veteran dredge known as Rabsevich. Defeat him without dying and you'll unlock this pretty easily. I'll also say that I am pretty sure you can be downed for this one, just not completely dead. Moving on, we have Weapons Tester in the Molten Furnace Fractal. Right before the final boss fight, you're gonna find yourself in the Weapons Testing Facility. Here, there's going to be three different waves of weapon testing that you're going to have to do before attacking the Thermal Core in the center. After those three waves, there'll be a fourth and final wave, combining all the weapons tests that you've dealt with up until then. So fire tornadoes, fire AOEs, and seismic ground pounds. Make it through all the tells in the fourth and final phase of this fractal and you'll get the mastery. Next up we have Shockwave Skipper at the Molten Boss. Here you'll fight two bosses, the Molten Berserker and the Molten Firestorm. For this achievement you only need to focus on the Berserker. Every now and again he's going to pound the ground sending out a seismic ring that you'll need to dodge or jump over. To get this mastery you'll have to make it through the whole fight without getting hit by any of these seismic rings. After that we have Hollow Hornpipe at the Aetherblade Fractal. About halfway through this fractal you'll be in a room with a bunch of rotating electric currents. After this trap has been deactivated you'll notice a statue in the center of the room dancing. To get this one you're going to need to backslash dance with the hologram. Moving on we have Subject 6 Deeper at the Thalmanova Reactor Fractal. After taking out the Fire Shaman you'll gain access to four rooms, one of which houses the Subject 6 boss. During the fight, Subject 6 is going to change his shape ever so slightly to kind of flatten out his bottom in a shield-like stance. During this phase, you're going to need to hit him 19 times and no more. Hitting him 20 times or more will fail this mastery immediately and you'll have to start the whole fractal over again. Typically during this fight, you're going to avoid hitting him when he's like this as he will gain stacks of overcharge which can overwhelm your party. But if you can get him just to the brink at 19 stacks, at any point during the fight, you'll get this mastery point when you defeat him. And right when you defeat him. So if you want to go in with a smaller party and avoid the rest of this fractal, that is totally up to you. After that, we have Horix Horror in the Captain Matron boss fractal. In this fight, your main objective is to take out Captain Matron, but you'll notice she has a second in command, Horus. Horus is the guy who rains AoE down on you if you've ever played this one before. While Horus can be defeated and will be continuously resurrected for the rest of the fractal until you beat Captain Matron, defeating him once is all it takes to get this mastery point. And lastly, we have Open Grave at the Solid Ocean Fractal. For this one, you're going to need to kill all of the monsters before the boss. Most people tend to skip all of the monsters at the beginning of this fractal and run straight for the boss, so if you're queuing up for this, make sure to make that apparent so everyone in your team knows what's going on. I managed to pull this off with a two-man group, so just something to keep in mind if you're struggling to get a party together for this particular mastery. And that, guys, is where I'm gonna call this guide. I've been trying to complete all these masters in order to gain footage for this guide and I'm happy to say that I managed to get all but one. The weapons tester and the molten furnace just seems to be out of my grasp at least for now. I always end up getting hit by something towards the end of that fight. Anyway guys I hope this helps someone out there trying to get these all unlocked. I think this goes without saying but I think it's best that you do these on tier one of fractals so that the fractals themselves aren't already more difficult than they have to be. If you guys have any questions or tips, feel free to leave them down in the comments. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.